If you could go back to the start of your career and whisper some words of advice into your ear, what advice would you give your younger self if you'd give any advice? I spent a lot of time chasing after my parents' dreams for me because I didn't have the ability to think for myself at an early age, right? And that, that is like young Pakistani boy, parents say you have to be a doctor. And so I said, great, how much does a doctor make? I'm going to go be a doctor. And so I spent, God, years getting into an Ivy League med school. And literally like the day I got there, I was like, this is not what I want. <laughs> and I went to go on and get two graduate degrees. I would have told my younger self, forget about college, forget about the graduate degrees. You were an entrepreneur since you were a kid. You proved it out throughout high school. You should have gone and started building a company immediately. That's not for everybody. It's very important. I'm not telling people to drop out of school. I'm just saying for me, that's that's what I would have said. The other thing too is I think that for better or for worse, it took me a while to understand that all of the, the structures and the laws that we live within are created by a bunch of people. And honestly, most of those people aren't that smart, right? Like for the people that, that actually make the laws and, and pass them. And so I think it took me a while to also understand that just because a law it's a law or because someone says it's this way, you actually the beauty of it is you don't have to do it that way. You actually have this thing called free will. And if you can come up with a better way that's not illegal or hurting anyone or yourself, you should be completely free to go ahead and kind of like work in a system that's in large part been prefabricated for, for everyone's safety. I think the other one is when you're young, the FOMO is so real, right? You're like 21 years old, your friends are going out it's to like the club FOMO. and you're like, oh God, I got it. <laughs> it's like all FOMO. It's just so real. And it's, and I would have told myself, like, forget the party. Listen, the party's going to be there. Focus on yourself. Focus on waking up earlier in the morning. I wish I'd bought property early. I know that's a silly one too, but like when you're when you're younger, you don't think about those things. But the people I know that have bought property earlier um, and built a portfolio by the time they're thirty or thirty five, they're not working. They can go chase after whatever makes them happy. I think that's a really important one. I didn't build an audience as fast as I would have liked to. And I think in large part that came from fear that if I build an audience and no one comes, I'll look like a real chump. And I think that I've had to get over that fear and I'm, I'm just at the beginning of that journey right now. Um, and then I think that the other important thing is I can't stand when people used to always tell me, you can't have it all. You can only have one or two or three of those things until I came to the realization that if I construct a life that is very purposeful, you can have it all, right? I'm, I'm building the company of my dreams, solving the problem that I'm deeply in love with. I have my my best friend, my best friends and my family working directly with me. I've had I've gone through a lot of, uh, I would say like trials and tribulations, learning how to get that right. I get to see my mom, my girl, my family all the time. And so I, I would say that like emotionally, I'm incredibly fulfilled. Professionally, I'm incredibly fulfilled. And I think that people that don't believe you can do it all, I think it's a load. And I think you just have to really sit down and engineer your day and your life a little bit more. 